Hello everyone, welcome to Codus Camp. So you are at the 12th video of Cypress Automation Crash Course. So far we have covered Cypress pictures, read and write files, custom commands, dashboard services in Cypress. And now in this video, we are going to cover the plugins available in Cypress. Let's dive in. So, so far we have covered how to handle the elements and web pages and stuff. But plugins are really used to support and extend the behavior of testing with Cypress so that you can include a variety of functionalities while you're testing your application. So now here, if you go to your Cypress plugins page, you can see a lot of plugins supported by Cypress. You can install and use them as you like. So if you go under this page, you can see a lot of categories and you can pick any plugin and they have given a lot of instruction as well to use them in your code. So we are going to cover most of the important plugins in this page in our upcoming videos and test our application. So to get start with the plugins in Cypress, we are going to start using a very easy plugin in this page so that you'll get a rough idea of how to use a plugin in your application. So now we are going to use upload file plugin in Cypress. So click on that. So in general, if you are using Selenium or other testing frameworks, if you are trying to upload a file to your web application, you need to handle the Windows application or the desktop page by using some other external software like auto IT and stuff. But here you don't have to really worry about handling your desktop application pops up when you try to upload a file. So here's the plugin that will help us to upload any file, any format of file to your web application. So now the first step is installing it. So I'm going to copy the first command and go to my Visual Studio code. So let me terminate this and open a new terminal. So here I'm going to paste it and hit enter. So yes, now the first step is done. Going to the same page here. I have an import statement so that I can configure it in my command.js. So I'm copying this and I'm going to paste it in my command.js. So let me paste it and save it. So the next step given here is we have to import that command.js in our index.js, but actually, after the version 5.0 in Cypress, this command will be automatically added in your index.js. You don't have to worry about that. So after saving this, let me go to my test folders under integration under testing. I have all these files. So if you're watching my videos, you must be familiar with all this coding part right now. So I'm going to click on new discussion. So this code is nothing but the usual Cypress command, which is going to click and type stuff. So I'm going to run this for you to show what this is actually going to perform. So let me go to my test runner. So yes, under my testing folder, new discussion, I'm going to run this. So this is actually going to click the forum link in my blog and then go to start a new discussion. And in that discussion, it is going to type the text and create a new discussion in my forum. So yes, the test has executed and it has created a new uh, forum with random text. So let me delete this and I'm going to do the same operation again. But here, just not by entering the text, I'm also trying to upload a file here in the discussion. So, so what is the file I'm going to upload is, I'm going to save that in my pictures folder. So let me create a random text file. Let me save it. So yes, I have created sample.txt. So you can have any kind of file, either it be PDF or JPG or MP4 as you like. So yes, so far we have installed the file upload plugin and imported that to our command.js. So the next thing is we have to use it in our code. So go to our plugin page. So going down, you can see the code provided. So it says cy.get.attach file. So let me copy this. Go to your Visual Studio code. So in this code here, it types the text and here it clicks the publish button. So before that, before it clicks on publish, I'm going to add or upload the file. So here I'm pasting the code simply. 
So this says it is going to input the file. That's fine. So here in my attach file, I'm going to put the path and name of my file I want to upload. So under fixtures folder, it is there. So I'm going to put fixtures slash sample.txt. So let me save this and see whether it is uploading the file or not. Yes, it has typed the comment. Okay, it is throwing the error. So let us try this. Where type equal to file. And let us give a wait time. See why not wait some three seconds. So let me save this and try. So yes, you can see the file is uploading and okay, the file upload is taking too much time than we have given. So it did not click on the publish and the post has not been saved, but the file is uploading. So let us try giving some more waiting time and then click on the publish button. So let me add the wait of 20 seconds. So let's try. And file also started uploading and our wait time is 20 seconds. So let's hope this file gets uploaded 20 seconds. So yes, it is hitting the publish button, but actually the file did not upload completely. So it was throwing the error message saying hit publish once you upload the file. Or let us try an easier file. So instead of text, I'm going to paste some image and try now. So let me go to my pictures folder and copy some image from somewhere. So yes, let me paste it. Sample image. Let me go to my Visual Studio code. Go to new discussion. And I have sample image.png. So let me give that here. Sample image. Dot PNG. So let's save it. So yes, you can clearly see it is uploading the image. And yes, the image is uploaded successfully and it's still waiting for our 20 seconds to complete. So yes, it hit publish. And yes, our post is submitted and it has the text we typed and the image we have uploaded. So yes. You now see how our upload function is helping us to upload any kind of file to our web pages. So yes, thanks for watching the video. Hope this video is helpful. So look forward for more coding and testing in Cypress. Stay tuned. Thank you. And if you like the video, hit like and subscribe.